Hello. First let's see what is this on-screen navigation bar means. I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain what this is deeply cause this is what almost all of the phones nowadays use. It's the software-based solution to the earlier hardware-based physical navigation bar in phones. Uses the bottom screen space. This navigation bar has more capabilities than physical navigation bar. So, what is the use of this tweak? This tweak will let you enable on-screen navigation bar on any device. Whether you have a broken physical navigation bar or just want to enable it for fun or for whatever reason you have. But what will you lose by enabling this? After enabling, the physical navigation bar will be disabled. To re-enable it, you have to turn off on-screen navigation bar which we will also show here. So let's head in to see how to enable this in your device. First, let's get the registry file to enable it from Windows Universal Tools application, open the app and load the repositories. Now go to the displayed path. Download the enabling registry file. Once the download is finished, go open Interop Tools application. Choose this device as the provider. Then, open Hamburger menu and expand Registry section and choose Import Registry File option. Browse for the downloaded registry file and select it. You can see all the changes it does to the registry, import it and reboot the phone. After booting back, you will have the on-screen navigation bar, apart from the normal functions with back, windows and search buttons, you get three additional sub-features too, which are auto-hide navigation bar when needed, swipe up to hide navigation bar and double tap to sleep the device. Continue with the video to get to know how to disable on-screen navigation bar if you need as well. If you want to disable the on-screen navigation bar and return to the physical navigation bar, then here's how to do that. First, like before, open Windows Universal Tools application and go to the same path used to download the applying registry file. Download the disabling registry file instead now. Then when download is finished, go to Interop Tools. Choose Import Registry File option from Side Menu. Browse for the downloaded disabling registry file, import it and restart your device. After the reboot, your phone will no longer has the on-screen navigation bar. After turning on on-screen navigation bar, as said, the physical navigation bar will disable, but the lights will stay on. To turn them off, follow the steps, go to Windows Universal Tools application, and go to the displayed path. Download the registry file. Then open Interop Tools and import it.
right when you import it, the lights will turn off. To turn them back on, use the other registry file there. That is all for this guide, have a nice day.